gonna be a really nice little day out. Just the two of us. Do you know a place feels like home? I have this feeling in Bath. Honestly, so, so beautiful here. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and to another weekend vlog. I hope you're all doing it very well. Sorry, my voice sounds really croaky. Today is Saturday and it's actually gonna be such a lovely weekend vlog because I'm having a little bit of a solo trip out of London with Maggie and we're going to Oxford. I'm so excited for it. It's basically, it's just such a lovely day. Zara's got her friend from Plymouth staying with us this weekend. So they've got plans like today, they're just gonna have a like, nice little mooch around town. So I was like, do you know what? The weather's lovely. How about me and Mags go on a little adventure somewhere? So I had a look and I haven't been to Oxford in ages. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. So yeah, we're just gonna drive the time. It's just gone 10 in the morning. I'm just gonna finish my coffee and get in the car. I'm gonna go off, packed the bag, ready to go off. Feel like it's quite tricky packing for a dog when you are on the go. So you need like the balls and treats, I pack a little blanket in the car. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And like I say, Oxford is just, it's just lovely. I feel like I might be quite busy because the weather is tip top. But anyway, how are you all doing? Let me know how you are in the comments. It's so lovely reading all of your comments on the past few vlogs. It's just been really nice to find out how you're all doing. So yeah, let me know. Before we do get into the vlog, I wanna say a huge thank you to Green Chef who are partnering with me on this video. It's very kindly sponsored by them and I'm very excited because my Green Chef box just arrived as I was about to leave. So that's perfect, perfect timing. So as you guys know, I love my food. Like food for me is life. However, things get busy. I am constantly on the go and sometimes I genuinely don't have time to do a weekly shop or plan as well as I would like. And there are some days like today when I'm probably gonna get back quite late this afternoon, evening, and not really have time to think about food. So this is when Green Chef comes into its own. Green Chef's ethos is healthy eating my way. There are five plans for you to choose from and a whole host of recipes. So they have vegan, vegetarian, and flexitarian. They also have low carb and ketogenic. So it's a whole spectrum of recipes to tailor healthy eating towards you. Obviously, I'm a massive advocate of cooking from scratch and you can really monitor that way what you are eating, being a little bit more mindful and just thinking about what you're actually consuming. It's just a really great way. And this is where Green Chef comes into its own. So there's a Green Chef app, which you can download and choose your weekly recipes. You can pause or cancel at any time. So it's really flexible to work around you. Some weeks it'll be great for us and other weeks we can pause it and then continue it the week after. It's all pretty weird and ready to go. So it's fine. Let's have a look and see what we've got. So these are the recipes we've got this week. We have a chana masala, which just sounds delicious. I think I might have that this evening. Then tomorrow, I thought this would be really good. So these are ones that I pre-selected. We've got a mushroom bourguignon and a oven baked pesto risotto, which just sounds delicious. You know, I love a risotto. It's like my favorite thing, but just look how like vibrant they look. Obviously these are all vegetarian, but you can tailor these to be flexitarian, vegan or low carb or ketogenic. Also Green Chef have been very kind and given me a discount code that you guys can use at home, which gets you 40% off your first box and then 20% off your next three boxes. So if you use the code on screen, I'll also link that down below. It's a great way to get started and just enjoy really good, healthy, delicious, home cooked food. All right, I'm gonna quickly finish my coffee, head in the car, pack mags up, <laughs> And then let's drive to Oxford. I'm in such a good mood today. Um, not that I'm not usually in a good mood, but I'm in a particularly good mood because the weather is gorgeous. And me and little Mags, hello, she's all strapped in the back, don't worry. We're off on a little solo adventure today. You excited? <laughs> it's about an hour and a half. Uh, I'm gonna park at the park and ride and get the bus into town just because that's the like, the easiest way to get into Oxford because it's quite like, it's a bit like London in that sense. It's It's a mini London, I always call it. It's very lovely. Maybe a contender to move there, who knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna set off. I'm just, honestly, I'm, I love, oh gosh, they're quite steamy. Little day trip out of London, and I thought if we have time, we could go to somewhere called Blenheim Palace. I'm not sure, I haven't researched it entirely, so this might not happen, but um, I read online that you can take dogs in certain parts, not in the palace itself, but I think around the grounds. Sorry, it's a turn on my car. All dog friendly things. I've got my huge backpack, nice little water dish. I've got some treats. Would you like a treat before we set off a little car snack? Um, so yeah, I found this little pub. There you are. Good car. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was just gonna be a really nice little day out. Just the two of us. Do you have any preference on music? A little soundtrack, anything? Okay. Right, let's go. 
So the traffic hasn't been the best, I'm not gonna lie. We're about uh, eight minutes from the park and ride and then we just need to hop on a bus into town, but I think it takes about 15 minutes. So it's not too bad. Maggie has slept the whole way <laughs> because that's all she does. Um, but it's just such a gorgeous day. I love driving when the weather is like this, it's lovely. So, made it into Oxford city centre. It actually took like relatively no time at all. This was the bus behind me. <laughs> um, and it's such a beautiful day here as well. Maggie's already got a lot of attention on the bus, of course. Um, so it's gonna have a wonder now. I might see if I can get a little um, dog friendly cafe somewhere. I'll have a Google. As you can see, there are cyclists everywhere. So we have to be careful with Maggie, but you're used to London, so I'm sure you'll cope. One thing about Oxford I will always say is the architecture is absolutely beautiful. I was just listening to a tour guide um, that was saying all of the buildings are pretty much made out of Cotswold stone. And they are stunning. Apparently three British Prime Ministers were educated in Oxford University. So there we are. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> Where I'm from is Durham and it kind of reminds me a lot of this city. They're old houses steeped in history. It's beautiful, especially on a day like today. Wow. spotted this antique store, Nora's Antiques. Don't think I'll be going in with Maggie just because it looks quite expensive, but the jewelry in the window is beautiful. Look at some of those sapphire diamonds. Incredible. Come on, little one, this way, good girl. Just stopped for a coffee at a place called The Missing Bean. I've gone for an oat milk flat white. And they brought Maggie some water up as well. I did just give her some, but she seems to like the Oxford water more than what was in my bottle from London. <laughs> I don't blame her. Sat opposite this beautiful, gorgeous building. Looking up at the sun. Brilliant placement of two shops. We've got the Oxford Wine Company and then the Whiskey Shop. I I think I need to move here. <laughs> this is Dog Ownership 101. I've left the house and obviously I have this little decanter for poop eggs. And Maggie just, you know, did her thing. And that was the last one on the reel, so I had to go and get some more. And I thought ahead because I knew this one Mountain Warehouse is dog friendly. So I spotted the dog ball. I looked up, there's a Mountain Warehouse. So we're all good. We're all set. <laughs> she thinks it's a toy. <laughs> I'm gonna try and have lunch. I read online that um, it's dog friendly, so I'm gonna have a look in there. If not, there might be somewhere else. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's head on in. I'm gonna try my look. Look how beautiful this cherry blossom is. Oh my goodness. And then this is the Oxford camera. I think it's called the Radcliffe camera. It's quite tricky with the light to show you. There we go, that's a better view of it with the sun. Isn't that incredible? Honestly, so, so beautiful here. So I just had lunch in, honestly, it was such a lovely pub. It was called the King's Arms. I'll leave a link down below. They were so dog friendly. The staff was so nice. Um, it was quite busy. I said, is there any room for one? And a dog <laughs> and um, I ended up getting chatting to these guys so nice um, I'm terrible with names I completely forgot his name um, he'd actually retired and basically he said he was like if you ever considered moving to anywhere in the in England why would you move and I was like it's funny because we're thinking about moving out of London we just don't really know where he said I can't recommend Oxford enough <laughs> and he was just so friendly with the chap he was with as well and they were just just really really nice um, so yeah I, I it's got a good, a good vibe for the city. I've never really considered actually having this as on the agenda as somewhere to move, but it's very close to London. It's about 50 minutes on the train, so yeah, it's just really nice. And they, they took a like in the Maggie. They had a chocolate Labrador, and um, so they they watched her while I went to the loo. You're having a great day, aren't you? You're having a great all day out. She's been so well behaved. It's quite busy in town, and she's just doing brilliantly. I like the people are so friendly. Everyone's saying hello. It just feels. <sighs> Do you know a place feels like home? I have this feeling in Bath, and Oxford's very similar to Bath. Hello. Oxford's very similar to Bath, and just everyone is so nice and friendly. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting a good feeling about this. I feel like I need to come back to Zara to see what she thinks. But yeah, they were just they were so pro Oxford, and they told some areas like were really affordable to buy in that are close to the city centre, but also close to transport to get to London. So yeah, we're just sat in the shade. Should we see if we can get you a little puppuccino somewhere or some ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> Any Harry Potter fans will recognise some of the beautiful scenery of Oxford as well. They used a lot of this in the first two films and they also used a lot of Durham Cathedral which is where I'm from too. So yeah, it really is a city steeped in history. 
so I've just popped into an order in Steam which is such a nice like a Swedish bakery for a coffee and one of their cinnamon socials. They are so good, their coffee is delicious and these are, if you ever get the chance to try one from Ola and Steam, they are delicious. They're meant for sharing, um, but it's just me, so I might take the rest in my backpack to have later. So we're back in the car and we're gonna go drive back to London. That was such a nice day out. It's half past four. It's gonna take us an hour and a half to get back to London. It's been so nice, the sun is lovely, but you know when you've just been out in the sun a bit much and Maggie's still a pup, so it's, it's a lot of energy to keep her in track with, you know, big crowds. So I'm quite, I'm quite ready for a chill Saturday evening. I'm gonna cook some delicious dinner, so I'll catch you guys when we are back in London. Yes, I'm back home from Oxford. The time is, 10 to 7 now that drive oh my goodness it was fine up until i got to london and i forgot saturdays saturday evenings in london are busy <laughs> so the traffic was slightly bad however i'm home so i'm going to cook some dinner zara's gone out this evening so it's just me so there's going to be leftovers for when she comes back as it is a saturday i'm kind of leaning towards this chana or chana masala nice and healthy as well cooks in 30 to 35 minutes Serve. Look how good that looks. Doesn't that look so colourful? I am so here for this. This looks like just everything I wanted. Flavoursome, really nutritious, and also just it looks like it's gonna fill me up. Let's go for the taste test. Here we go. Oh my god, that's really good. The cumin, I love cumin, cumin seeds, because they've roasted in the oven. They've gone almost sweet. Oh my god. I've just popped my hoodie on and I'm gonna chill for the evening. Zara's just poured me a glass of Prosecco and I'm gonna watch interior design masters now i spoke about this before on the channel i honestly i absolutely love it. it i don't know if it's just a uk thing but basically alan carr hosts it and i think alan carr is hilarious so we watched it all uh last year it's basically button interior designers uh get sent briefs every single week and every week it's different um so there's a new season and we've completely not watched any of it so there's three episodes to watch on catch up so i'm going to watch those now oh i'm so excited they're fab so i'll leave a link down below and I might have a cheeky slice of salted caramel cheesecake in a bit. One of folks, so it is Sunday and we're in Battersea Park just walking um, to Chelsea this morning. We're gonna get a nice little bit of breakfast. Today is Mother's Day and <clears throat> the clocks have gone forward so it officially is the start of is it summer solstice or spring solstice? I'm not too sure, but basically it means the longer days and the warmer days are coming, which is exciting. So yeah, we're walking to Chelsea. Got a little Maggie in tow. I'm gonna get a little coffee. So we just popped by Love My Human, which is Maggie's favorite little shop. And we got her an Easter treat. It's like a mini egg pop cup. It's just devouring it. Look at the size of that. How much is it? Four seventy-five. <laughs> we don't. Even, we don't even pay that she much for our treats. treats in the week. We paid six pounds for our ice cream. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So we're just sat having a little coffee in uh, the Duke of York Square, and that's the Saatchi Gallery over there. It's one of our favourite little spots. Can you sit down? I think he's trying to steal some of Zara's coffee. <laughs> Zara went out for um, drinks last night. And, drinks? Well, went out. Zara went out, out. I am a granddad. I stayed in, in. <laughs> I went out, out. I came home. Home? Um, I came home. I came home. At 3.30 a.m. Oh, God, Zara. Those are the days. And I woke up at half past seven. Until Sorry. Off of that. Sorry. We're back home, by the way. <laughs> and we're about to make some <laughs> dinner. And um, Zara's friend Megan's left to drive back home. And um, yeah, it's just been a really nice weekend. We just started to film on Netflix. Uh, sorry, not on um, Disney Plus. And it's got Daisy Edgar Jones from, um, if you watch Normal People. It's so far, so good. I'll leave a link down below. Um, what's it called? 
fresh. There was a premiere for it recently. Oh. Um, anyway, we're about to make another meal. We're doing the mushroom bourguignon from the Green Chef um, box and it looks absolutely delicious. I am absolutely loving the fact that it's 20 to 7 and it's still bright. Like, the clock's gone forward. It's the best thing. It's a little bit tricky in the morning because it's slightly darker. However, it evens itself out in the daylight. Oh, I love it. Anyway, let's do some cooking. Right, dinner is ready. This genuinely smells so, so good. I've just added the roasted pot of mushrooms, uh, carrots, gorgeous thyme, red wine. This literally looks amazing. This literally is like winter food in a bowl. I know we're approaching spring, and to be honest, I'm kind of gonna miss like proper winter warmers, but this looks delish. It's going for the taste. Mmm. And the sliced pot of mushrooms on top. Actually replicated as beef. Oh my goodness, I'm a fan of that. Right, we just finished that film. I'm not gonna lie, it was very weird. It's it was a bit like I didn't I didn't see this coming. It was a bit like Hannibal Ecta meets Fifty Shades of Grey, <laughs> <laughs> which is possibly the most strangest kind of like film description ever. I will leave it linked down below. It's not for the faint-hearted. It might turn your stomach a little bit. Yeah, probably not gonna be for everyone. But yeah, we are. We're gonna call it. And evening. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Really hope you've been. Oh my god, I just really I just saw this floating thing in the background. I was like, who was that? I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Love to you all. Take care and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.